Yo, carry the, the taint of the scourge. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting wording there, but I'll take it. Alright. We got these people in a guild. Oh my god, all three of these people are in a guild. And we got this guy who's just standing there. Cool, whatever. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard anyways. But, yeah. Should be pretty straightforward. I'm just really excited to just keep spamming this dungeon because I cannot wait to just get all the stuff from White Mane. That shit's gonna be so nice. Getting the hat, getting the mace, getting the... What's the other thing? She had she dropped something else. She dropped a neck. A necklace. That's gonna be really nice. But it's just a matter of how many times I'm gonna run this dungeon because I already know that... I'm not going to stop running SM until I get all three of those items, until I get everything. So I think the mace is probably going to be the easiest because no one else should be rolling for that, hopefully. I'd be really, I'd be kind of annoyed if the paladins in this group start rolling for the mace when it drops. But everything else is up for grabs because I'm pretty sure everyone else is going to want that. So oh, fingers crossed if I can try to get these things super early on and from there i'm not really sure it's gonna be crazy i'm gonna be holding on to that healing mace for what feels like years because when i had it on my paladin i didn't replace that mace until brd straight up i didn't replace that until the mace from the last boss of brd i don't even know if there was any other option for something better than that but that's just what ended up happening so better get comfortable with that and on top of that i still have to I still have to... Oh shit, is this guy shackled? Wow, look at that. Oh, he's slowed. On top of that, I have to rerun uh, library because I was editing the library run that I did and at the very end, the spell dagger dropped and I saw it and I was like, nah, that's no big deal. I don't need that shit. And so I passed on it or I greeted it for the mage to have later. And my thought process was that I didn't need it because I'm using a staff. I don't even have an offhand to use so it's not even really worth my time but then i ran graveyard again and the orb dropped that increases spell power and so now the secondary the offhand that increases spell power dropped and i got that and now i need that dagger <laughs> i need that dagger for my shadow spec so i think i might run a couple more library runs just to try to get that back and hopefully get that dagger it's gonna be hard because just there's just so many mages there's so many mages i have to compete with and warlocks so i don't know if i'll be able to get that if not it's no big deal but it's just i'm kicking myself for not uh, for not needing on that dagger but technically i didn't need it at the time i only needed it after i got that offhand and also i didn't realize that oh shit hmm <laughs> I I need I forgot to repair. <laughs> All right, we can't die. We can't die because I I I can't repair. That's gonna be that's gonna be kind of annoying. Well, well, I guess that's just some inspiration for me to not die. So I gotta be careful. Nice spin, dude. Uh, every time I every time I group with paladins, it just makes me so thankful that I don't have to keep rebuffing like that. That's uh it's so nice. I love it. Click cast my silence. Ooh, I'm 50% away from hitting shadow form. 50% away from never using silence again. That's kind of sad. It's a bittersweet moment, but yeah, you know, I'm just trying to trying to wean myself off of using silence because I'm not going to be seeing it for a while. I'm actually I'm actually changing up my shadow build let's move oh i can't move this actually wow that's annoying <laughs> but yeah so right now i'm shadow spec with uh points into silence so i have to get the points into improved scream and i decided that when i reroll into shadow form i'm actually going to take those three points that i spent getting into silence and putting that into maximizing blackout so it's kind of taking away defensive utility in favor of offensive utility. Wow, that's actually a lot of damage, I'm surprised. Because silence is a super, super useful skill, but its main use is in PvP and very specific encounters in PvE, and I feel like there aren't enough of those specific PvE counters 
encounters for me to warrant using three points, three talent points. So instead, I'm just going to use it on Blackout. That's going to be useful in essentially every encounter, just increasing that chance of stunning. And so what I'm going to end up doing is just having maxed out Blackout, maxed out Shadow Reach, and just going full into Shadow. Ideally, I'm going to try to see if I can get all the way to 60. I say that now. I'm going to try to get all the way to 60 in a Shadow spec, not re-rolling into Holy or some shit. And then... I don't know, we'll see if it works. I, I feel like dungeons have been easier in Classic compared to in uh, private servers, so it's hopefully not going to be too much of an issue, but if it does, I might end up respecking. The reason for that is that I don't want to go into Holy at, say, I don't want to respec into Holy at 55, for example, and then level up through dungeons because It'll make dungeon healing way easier, but then it makes solo content just annoying as shit. I'm assuming, like that's how it was for Paladin, I'm just gonna assume that that's how it is for Priests as well. So I want to just be able to do solo content while also being able to heal dungeons if I need to. Because I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm the best healer, but I feel like I'm good enough to get away with running a shadow spec. I say that now, but maybe... <laughs> Maybe once we get to the like the higher dungeons, once I get to like BRD and up there, I was just like, oh fuck, I'm fucking up, and then my team's gonna be blaming the healer. You never know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Or just... <laughs> well, the thing is, they're never gonna really know, right? You can't see anyone else's talent talents, so... Just started raining. You can't see anyone's talents, so for all they know, maybe I'm holy. Yeah? They can ask me, it's like, hey, are you spec... Holy, are you specced as holy? I'll be like, yeah, dude, it's in my name. And what they don't know is that I got my shadow form right here. Dude, that guy needs to chill. Myrmidon. <laughs> I was not ready for him to do that much damage. Okay, I need to pay a bit more attention because I'm actually not completely sure what all these mobs do. I'm just kind of autopiloting right now. This is the dude. This is the guy that was just destroying my tank. Gotta be careful with him. Oh, cause he like enrages when he gets low. Okay. Let's give him a lesser heal. <laughs> That's such a shitty heal. No, let's not even bother. Oh wait, when I get 40, I'll also get my first greater heal. Ooh, that's gonna be exciting. Oh man, I didn't think about that. Ooh, wait. Cause... I've been trying to farm gold, obviously, to get to afford my mount, get like 90 gold for my mount, but then I also have to keep in mind that I need gold to respect, I need gold to buy my skills for 40, and I'm pretty sure that at 40 I get a lot of good skills, so, man, that should be fine, honestly, I'm at like 97 right now, I keep gold on my bank mule even though I don't use it for anything, it just makes me feel better, so, I'll probably end up finishing all right i'll probably end up getting to 40 with around like 110 gold that should be enough it should be enough for me 100 not 110 maybe like 100 100 to 5 i don't know we'll see what ends up happening it should be fine i'm not concerned if anything i might just not add certain skills because i don't really need to that was one downside to playing a healer or any hybrid class is that most classes get to kind of cheap out on their skills and it's like they just kind of just get the one or two skills that they frequently use all the time but for healers and for hybrids in general you just have to get a lot more skills because you gotta you gotta buy your heals man ideally i, I didn't have to buy any of these healing <laughs> any of these healing spells any of these dispels and just went pure shadow i'd be making bank right now but, you know, it is what it is. It's the trade-off. But I should probably... Ooh! Silence the wizard! For no reason. Other than bullying him, dude. And then we're gonna life tap. Got it. Spirit tap. I'll never... I will never get used to saying spirit tap. I, I think I should just accept the fact that that's never gonna happen. You might pull here from this dude. Yep, there it is. Take a drink. Oh no, I'm gonna click my fade. Nope, we're good. 
high action healing. <laughs> gotta keep, I gotta start drinking more water because when I was editing these videos, I noticed that I'd make a lot of like popping sounds with my mouth, like clicking sound. I don't know how to describe like a, like a, like you can hear like my mouth opening and closing and it's kind of fucking gross. And I have to go through every video to make sure that like that smacking sound isn't there. And I learned recently that that sound usually happens when your mouth is dry. And so I just decided, you know, let's just start drinking more water during these videos. Makes more sense and you stay hydrated. But it was just such a pain in the ass because if you look at the audio files for these kind of videos, it's just every once in a while, I'll just cut the audio from my mic just so that it doesn't make that fucking slappy sound. It's weird. Like most people don't usually hear the sound of their voice out like through a speaker. They only hear it through their own head. So yeah, it's normal to think that your voice is like sounds weird because it's not what you're used to, but it's a completely different thing when you hate the sound of your lips smacking or some shit. It was just weird, man. Gotta ugh, get so tired of that. But it was something I didn't even notice because my friend was actually the one that pointed it out that you can drink water to stop those noises. And I look back and in the library and graveyard runs, I did I was regularly drinking water. And in those videos, I barely had to edit things. So, yeah. It's a wave. I have a macro. I have a macro for waving. I don't know why. <laughs> I've just been using that for everything. It's great. Like when people say thank you when you buff, you just give them a wave. When we're about to pull from a patrol that nobody's looking at, I'm just gonna wave at it. It's got. It's got some great comedic timing. Okay. What else? Oh, there's also a... I think there's a shoulder from here, right? Excuse me, Atlas. Let's just pop some dots. Pop a dot. Uh, Fairbanks has a shoulder. Ooh, right? Ooh, and it has spell power. Nice. Okay, let's go for that. Is this one of the first dungeons that has like a secret room? Because I know that there's been dungeons previously that have optional bosses, but I don't know if they're... This is the first optional boss behind a secret door. That's fucking cool. I like that. Oh, <laughs> look at these double spin. That's great. Alright, we're gonna get the spear tab here. Say fuck the paladin. We're not gonna heal you until I get my spear tap. Fuck. I didn't want it anyway. Who cares? I'm not using my mana. I'm not playing efficiently right now. Got to channel my inner, channel my inner Final Fantasy, my my inner game that I've never played before, and just focus on DPSing. Right, we're gonna shadow word both of these guys before going in for the heal. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Even mean that to like be a meme. It's like he's actually taking a lot of damage. We're gonna try to hit this guy. Get the life tap. Sick. -a. Sick. All right. Get this. What is this? Agility and strength. Boy. Dude, I need a. I need like an add-on that just has in huge text to repair your shit because I am so bad about keeping track of my durability. I know that there's like a little tiny thing right here on the bottom left that I put there on purpose so I can try to track my durability, but it's not enough for me. I need more. Oh wait, let's wait. I need more than that. Cuz I've seen some I've seen some people use shit, dude. What do I have? I agreed that, I don't care. Mana per 5 seconds is pretty cool, but I'd rather have spirit. Whatever. I don't know, is that is that bad? Is that good? Who cares, I don't have it. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. I'm not hurting for mana. I've never been, I've never cared about my mana. 
uh, shouldn't be. This is gonna be like that library video where I'm like, why did I pass on that? I could've, that's a really good ring or some shit. But now nah, we're fine, we're chilling. Especially because I'm gonna get this spirit tap, right? Fuck. Oh man, what was I saying? I completely lost track of my thoughts. Oh yeah, uh, I need a durability add-on that just set like covers your entire screen that in like a text that just says repair when I get under 30 if I'm in town and I'm under 30 durability or some or 40 durability that's what I really need because I'm super bad I've seen I've seen an add-on actually oh shit should I have shielded this guy now we have time okay that's a lot of people dude Okay, we're okay. We're fine. Let the mage take a bit of damage, and we're gonna drink here. Okay, spirit tap. Damn it. Okay, we're gonna drink. Uh, yeah, I saw an add-on. I think on the subreddit where it would just have like bold text whenever they had to rebuff someone. That's what I need. Maybe then I'll actually repair my stuff. Jesus. <laughs> just get like a sticky note, just put it right in my screen, just big repair, you idiot. Can we close the chapel door? Uh, posture check. Oh my god. <laughs> My god, my posture is so bad that my camera is centered for my bad posture. That's awful. Okay, what's the plan? Ah, uh, got the spirit up. Why is his renew a fireball icon? That's weird. Oh. What the? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Interesting. Fade? Uh, maybe I should have silenced her. I'm getting a bit low, actually. <laughs> Interesting. That's one way to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and heal. Oh, whoops. Fuck. I was going to renew myself, but then I ended up doing that. Dude, I'm loving these waters. <laughs> Because I actually started this dungeon with these, like a, a huge stack of waters from a previous run. And this mage that we have now traded me. And I was like, oh shoot, they're going to give me water. I don't really need it. Then they give me the good shit. The good shit. The 1992, man. I'm sitting at the 1344. Ooh, it's so good. Keep up my APM, man. All right. I should just drink every time I drink. Can you imagine if mages played a game where they just drink every time their character drinks? They'd be the most hydrated motherfuckers in this game. Or if a warrior eats every time they have to eat. Right, may just taking a bit of taking a bit of grow. I was gonna try to honestly I did have time to try to get the spirit attack from that guy before healing the tank, but just to be safe, why not? Let's go for this. Stack that and then just kidding, he's dead. Didn't matter. Bang! The taint of the scourge, I love that. That's I love his wording for that. You tab the right target, please. I need to get used to pressing the assist button, where you target your target's target. That's 
way easier than just tabbing a bunch of shit. Instead of doing that, I could just press tank, tab, done. Alright. Dot, dot. And let's just start. Let's just start flaying for some damage, dude. Nope. Grats. Noise. Who was that? Was that the mage? Or is that freakish? Is that the paladin? I don't know. Nope, it was the mage. Or was it? It was. Oh, do I have a talent point? Oh, I don't. Okay. Dude, I don't know why, but sometimes I just straight up forget to level my talents. Usually if it's in a dungeon, I'll just level and then just not think much of it. That's, that's a really bad habit to have. There's a lot of stuff in this game where I feel like if you don't know it already, you wouldn't think to do. So, not talent point. Talent point, that's straightforward. That, that's just me being dumb. But, like, skill books and shit. Leveling up your skills and then having to move the new skill onto your hotbar. That's something that I never would have thought to do had I, ar hadn't, had I already not known in the first place. So I can imagine some people that have never played on retail having trouble with remembering to do that or some people from uh or just new players just leaving their level one skills on their bar and then they, st they still keep buying their new skills and they're like why do i feel so weak right now why is everything so hard and then all, like, all of a sudden you realize oh i'm still using my level one shit that must suck there's probably a tip for that i disabled tips because that shit got really annoying wave Waving at a wall. Let's go ahead and silence this chaplain whenever. Whenever they start doing some moves. Let's bubble her. Because I don't know what she's gonna do. I'm gonna try oh, I could've I cancelled my mind blast because I thought that I wasn't gonna do enough damage, but then she got bursted immediately after I cancelled it. I haven't been really good with those, my last hits, in this dungeon. Every time I hear this song, it sounds like Uncle Iroh from Avatar, but it's nowhere near that. It's some, some super old school movie, Forest Tiger Blade. Not that, the old dude that, was ta that sounds like he's talking, but yeah. Ah! Ooh, I need a rebuff for it soon. I can learn thought. Do it. What? Can learn off tank? What? I don't understand what he's saying. Ooh, we got monks. We gotta be a bit careful here, man. You got my get bursted. Alright. Time these guys. I could have wanted that guy to get the last hit. That might have been better. What is that? Neat. Uh. Nah. It's fine. I don't need that. Gonna, again, I'm gonna look back at this and be like, "Oh shit, I should have, should have greeted that or needed that." Okay, and then we go this, and then this, and then this. Woo! I love Fort. <laughs> uh, I love Fortitude. Just having to drink every time.
Ow. Okay, wait. Let's get out of the AoE first before we start healing. Damn. Kind of wanted to try to last hit with that. I'm pretty sure the... Technically, you could probably cheese some last hits with Mind Flay if you can get the timing right, but I don't think I can do that. It's raining outside. Dude, the first time I saw rain in this game, it was crazy because it was in wetlands and I don't know if there's different densities of rain, but when I saw it, it felt like I couldn't see shit really bad with my heels right now. That was bad. Pop that twice. Okay. Yeah, straight up, the, the rain was just so dense you couldn't see past like this pillar pretty much. That shit was crazy. Perfect. Leather. It's just what I need. I need a hat, man. I'm still rocking the no hat life. What the hell is kind of filter? Light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. Oh, I found out recently that NVIDIA has like this post-processing like filtering thing that you can do. So you can make your games look... You can just add these filters onto your games to make them look different. Just change the contrast, brightness, and stuff like that. And then you can also add filters like sepia and black and white and shit. That was pretty cool. But I tried doing it. There was no lag. I never noticed any lag when I played it. But when I was recording it, I just got tons of lag. I, c I kept dropping frames whenever I was recording with those filters on. So I decided not to just have it on. But it just was cool because there was also a filter that made it look like it was hand painted or like a paint filter. I'm not really sure how to describe it. There was the it almost looked like some Minecrafty shit, like a Minecraft texture pack almost. Uh, let's just let's do a tiny heal, I guess. Hmm. You gotten anything from this run? Got a bunch of got a bunch of grays. I'm also so cheap that I skinned I skinned like a level nine mob on the way here. That's how cheap I am. No fuck. Uh Give me a spirit tap. Wow, I have not landed like a single spirit tap this entire run. It was a bad run. <laughs> God, having to scratch your face when you have a microphone at your face is just weird. Gotta like sneak in under it. Some weird shit. Oh good, I shadow shadow worded that guy. That was perfect. All right, all right, Fairbanks. Give me your shoulder. Look at that fucking shoulder. I think he's sleeping. <laughs> all right, let's just. Yeah, mind play. No, give me that. I got it. <laughs> Aw. Man, the one time I get the last hit and he doesn't give me a shoulder. Lame. Okay. Oh, my God. oh, wait. So, how does this boss fight work? We fight this guy and then when he gets to half health, then, we, then the priest comes, right? Is that how that works? It's been it's been a minute since I've done Scarlet Monastery, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, nice, I got the salvation, dude. I started this run like well, well before we started. Someone gave me blessing of might, and I was pretty down to just start hitting things with my staff.
Okay. Go. My god, what the hell? This guy's teleporting like a madman. What the fuck? Is that me? Shouldn't be me. Hello? What's happening? Oh god. I made myself dizzy with that one. Is he lagging? Ooh, shit. Dude, I... I'd like to think that he's just super fucking fast. That's why I just can't see him moving. He resisted me. He did it again. What did he resist? That's the question. Oh, shit. I didn't realize he hodged. I should be more careful. Why are you kiting that way? Are you the tank? Wait, is that the tank? I actually don't know. No, he's not. He doesn't have... Oh. Oh, I didn't even notice that this guy... I thought this guy was, like, just off-tanking for no reason. Wave. Alright, well... Oh, you're immune to silence. I don't know why I tried to do that. Okay. I should actually be a bit more careful, because I'm not sure... Not sure how long this fight's gonna take. Because I am at half mana, just to be safe. I'm sleepy! Hey, we're all in a line. Rise, my champion. At your side, milady. Milady, fucking neckbeard. Oh, let's wait, actually. Woo! I should be able, I should bubble paladins actually, just in case. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ow. Eat. Fuck off. Jesus. Please. Somebody. Let's pop a mana potion, actually, yeah. Oh, I thought I had a shit potion still. I guess not. No, what happened to my shit potions? No. Ooh, shit. I'm taking that. Woo! I'm gonna go ahead and need that. Swoop! You're gonna hurt the way, you loser? Alright. <laughs> Must be fun for Horde, fighting paladins that don't realize bubble hearth doesn't work until like 60. And so they just, they, they get into PvP, and then they just, they just get bubbled. And they bubble hearth, and, oh what the fuck? They bubble hearth and then they just wait it out. Ooh shit, neat. That must be awkward, especially for the paladin too. And <laughs> so you're just the rogue waiting for you while you're channeling your hearth. Alright. Ooh, we got the Hand of Righteousness. Nice. Alright, I think that's it. And next, we got ZF. We got, we got Ulda, that's right, Ulda-man. Ulda-man? Ulda-man. Find out. <laughs>